Hi guys. For today's math lesson, we are going to be looking at fractions. So by the end of today, you will be able to identify the correct fraction once you see it as a picture of a shape. Okay. So when we look at fractions, um, we are going to be talking about um, a number. Let's give two over three. This is what a fraction looks like, okay? So this is our numerator, which I know is a new and a big word, but practice saying it, numerator. And a numerator is how many parts out of our total are being considered, okay, that we're thinking of. That's what considered means. And then our denominator is how many parts total there are. So there are two out of these three pieces and that's how we can identify our fraction, okay? So that is what an, a fraction looks like, but we're gonna, we're gonna go over how we come up with this number. How did we decide that two over three was correct, okay? I just wanted to show you that this is a number, a numerator with a bar on top of a denominator, a num another number, um, and that is what a fraction looks like, okay? So now, now that we know what our fractions look like, we're gonna go into how do we decide which fraction is correct, okay? So we are going to identify fractions given um, a picture of a circle, okay? So we're gonna go over that right now. Okay guys, so like I said, when you're looking, when we are looking at fractions, we are looking at a whole shape. For today's lesson, we're looking at a whole shape and then we're looking at how many parts of that shape are we talking about, okay? So I have an example right here, and it's not perfect, but this is the best circle that I could draw. So, here is our circle. We wanna see how many parts there are total, and that's gonna go on the bottom. So this is how we build, this is how we identify a fraction and then how we build our correct um, number fraction, okay? Because this is our picture fraction right now. So looking at our picture fraction, how many parts do we have? We have one circle and how many pieces is it cut up into? We have one piece right here and we have another piece right here. So you can use your finger and you can count and say that there are one, two parts of this shape. So that is the number that goes below. That's our denominator. That's our whole, um, our whole shape is made up of two parts. But now, looking at a fraction, we wanna look at what, how many pieces are we talking about, okay? How many parts? So seeing that this piece is shaded in, one of these pieces is shaded in. So this will be how we build our fraction, okay? So one of the two pieces makes one half for our fraction. So here's our picture fraction, and then we were able to count our pieces and decide which one was shaded, how many were shaded in to build our number fraction, one half or one over two. All right, we're gonna do another example together. Okay, so here's another example. This time our circle is cut up into more pieces. How many pieces, how many parts is our circle cut up into? One, two, three. Our circle is cut up into three parts. So that is our number that will go on the bottom this here's our denominator, okay? There are three parts that make up this circle, but how many parts are we talking about? How many parts are shaded? One, two. So that's our number that will go on top. And that's how we were able to build our fraction. We took our picture fraction of a circle that was cut up into three pieces. And of those three pieces, two were shaded in, one, two, to build our number fraction of two thirds, or two over three. Okay guys, so 
for your activity today, you're going to look at different circles and you're going to see that each circle is cut up into um, different a different amount of parts. And then you're going to work to identify the correct um, the correct fraction. So you're going to build your fraction by looking at the overall circle, count how many parts, that's your denominator, that's the number that goes on the bottom, and then you're going to look at how many parts are shaded in, and that's your numerator. That's how many parts we're talking about in our fraction. And you'll always say it as 2 over 3 or 1 over 2. Okay, so that's how we practice saying our fractions. All right, great work today, guys, and I hope that you enjoy some fraction practice um, at home.